We had a very active day on the mosquito fire today, so it's now up to 58,000 acres, although we did increase to 25% containment, and there are some new evacuation orders and warnings in place. Now the big change that we had today was the last few days were moderated by that smoke shading and then a lot of that cloud cover from that moisture that we got from Hurricane K. That moisture moved off today into Nevada, leaving us with some clear skies, which allowed that inversion to break up earlier in the day, which allowed those southwesterly winds to really pick up the activity on that northeastern section of the fire. Now the big news today though was that spot fire that you see right there, just south of Forest Hill. This established itself earlier this afternoon and then quickly grew to a few hundred acres. Now when it comes to this spot fire, what actually happened was it jumped over Middle Fork American River right here and then quickly rushed uphill and up this canyon towards Forest Hill. Now, if we actually wanna see where that growth has been throughout the day today, it's that red color, and that's that spot fire just south of Forest Hill, although most of the growth throughout the day today was towards the east and northeast because the fire was being pushed by those southwesterly winds. Now, some good news when it comes to the spot fire is as of right now, there haven't been any reports of spots north of Forest Hill Road, although that's certainly something I'm going to be watching closely over the next 24 hours. The reason I'm going to be watching, especially that western side right there where we had this spot, why I'm going to be watching that closely is because that's the part of the fire that is the closest to the largest amount of structures shown with those orange dots right there. Now with that being said, the area of the fire where I actually expect to see the most growth tomorrow is on this eastern and northeastern sides of the fire because we'll once again have those southwesterly winds pushing it forward and unfortunately we don't have all that much fire history in this area. Now when it comes to the good news, we're going to have great relative humidity recoveries overnight, meaning we'll have some moisture calming the fire down, and then tomorrow's temperatures are well below average, but I will have updates on Holt Hanley wildfire forecasting on YouTube.